number one is this amazing video that i'm sure a few of you have probably seen um it's an epic story or it's an epic video to be fair and it's not really a story because i don't really know the truth of the matter i think there's an actual article that i'll read in a minute that actually explains what actually happened but this video i think was oh shared on the monday i think i'm gonna say maybe on monday and it's you know it's gone viral since then it's got fifteen thousand. this is the obviously not the original but the original was shared by somebody else i think it's been shared you know because i think with twitter you can share the video itself on your profile and then that kind of adds to the numbers um but essentially this clip this random dude took where he kind of explains it in the subtext says this clip i posted yesterday has been going viral all over fb and ig essentially i think he was walking by and he just heard you know the fire alarm go off in this building apartment or in this i don't know if it's a motel or if it's apartments but whatever it is the scene just opens with two good dudes on a balcony and one door open and there's water just gushing out this is people listening to the podcast right water just gushing out the front door and somehow you know what transpires next is just beggars belief really it's just an absolute horror show from the start to finish and if anything it's a good representation of just why i'm so in love what i love you know public freak out videos so i watch quite a lot of them um, there's always something whenever you can see me watching a video on my phone you always hear some sort of screaming some sort of shouting someone's shouting while starting the background because i don't know there's something about the human condition that draws me to that right just seeing the pure and utter carnage some humans get up to all around the world and the fact that there's a common theme behind it right or that ties it all together just a whole bunch of crazy people in different locations all around the world just acting fucking crazy on the internet for our entertainment you can't you know you can't be saying anything bad about it so let's just start the video here fuck is going on nigga what the fuck and this nigga come out so few way so the doors I'm, I'm assuming again for my layman's expression I'd assume something happened in that apartment building where he probably fucked around with the sprinklers and um i remember watching that it must have been one of those you know when you're on a random youtube hunt and i remember watching something about fire um the fire brigade some of their common calls that they have to go out to and then i think this is one of the ones that are at the top and obviously you've got the whole cat in the tree thing but the one thing that they get inundated with is people kind of letting off sprinklers um in apartment buildings and they were saying the amount of water that actually comes out of a sprinkler you have no idea about and, and but it's stranger because i think it's in california so they're, they're, they're quite stringent with the amount of water that you use, they'd like people to kind of turn up the taps and that sort of shit, but this is just absolutely gushing out of this apartment. So I'm assuming everything in the actual um, apartment itself is probably destroyed. Like, whoa, whoa, so suddenly, it's, it's all wet, and then out of nowhere, the guy just jumps over the barrier. So I'm assuming, you know, the person at the end of the of the staircase doesn't want to let him down, but let's just run the video and see it anyway. Oh, Jumps in the car, guy bumps the car body, gets out. And then somehow runs, and then there's this girl in the background just screaming. What is going on? 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 What is and of course, there's, there's there's always that one hysterical. Obviously, the little the little kid I don't have any problem with, right? She's probably looks like she's under the age of twelve. Fair enough, let her scream and get all hysterical. But there's always one woman out there in the background that's always screaming, you know, get the police, someone call, someone call the ambulance, someone call the police. Have the you know how Americans say police to the police, police, um, or someone recording with their phone. Okay, you record me, I'm gonna record you. It's just a fucking bizarre video. I just, I, I, again, there's so many questions, so little answers. Why is there a cleaner there at that time of the day? I don't know. She's obviously looking at it thinking, I'm not going to clean that shit up, right? Then that guy jumping over, did, does he live in the apartment? Was he trying to rob it? He doesn't look like a, a he doesn't look like he's trying to break in, right? He jumps, the funny thing is that he jumps over the barrier and he's still got, he's, he's still sagging his trousers, right? He hasn't necessarily tried to, pull your trousers up which is probably difficult to do once your trousers are soaking wet but his trousers are still sagging he's still his hair is still quite i think his hair is all right in it as he's coming down oh huh? my his hair looks all right <laughs> so so then i think i the next topic or the next um actual bit of news is that tmz find that found out what actually happened and provide some context in it just when you want some clarity and you want someone to come in 
uh, that you know what happened. TMZ kind of provided some of the context behind it. So this is the article from TMZ. It says the following here. Um, flooded hotel viral video explained. 10K in damages. Jesus Christ. So it says, um, this guy who ran out of a flooding hotel room didn't only ruin uh, the Nissan he jumped on. Of course, yeah, because he smashed the cut. He smashed the roof and the sun, and the front winch, the front the front window, what windscreen, whatever it's called, and the front bonnet. So you know, it's basically written off the car, didn't you? I'm assuming. Do you have the car? No, they're probably bits that you can replace quite easily. Um, the bizarre video started going viral on Tuesday, and the backstory behind it just is nuts. According to the guy who captured the scene on video, the trouble started flowing. Uh, around 7 p.m. at Studio 6 Commerce in California. The person behind the camera, Prophet Amen Ra, Jesus, that is his actual real name. Fucking hell. Uh, wonder what color he is, eh? It tells us fire alarms, were, fire alarms were going off, but motel workers couldn't get into the room because it was locked. One staffer smashed the window to get inside, and once the door opened, the water started gushing out. Jesus. So... So I guess he was in there, right? And the alarm was ringing. So it says, now internet famous jumper escaped the hotel employer's grasp. Okay, so that guy with a muscle that was one of the people that was in the hotel, I'm assuming, and hopped over the railing to flee the second floor building by bounding down onto the Nissan Smart move. But those things, right, they always look a lot more achievable when you're up there. But then once you get no, when, when you're up on the other side, and once you get on the other side of the railings, it suddenly starts to become real. Like, oh, shit, this is quite high. You use just what I found with heights. You can sometimes have a de delusions of grandeur. You can sometimes think, you know what? You can have a heightened sense of self. You're like, I, I can do this. Then once you step on it, you're like, mm, I probably can't. So but for him, it was too late. He already had made a decision, right? Once you get over the other side, there's no going back. You have to just go with it. And un unfortunately for him, because the water was gushing out, the, the whole roof of the car was wet. So then he had slipped. But I think if it would have been any other moment, he would have been okay to land on it and just jump off. It would have been perfectly fine. <laughs> Uh, the nine their famous jumper escaped da, 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 and hopped on the railing and to flee the second floor apartment down to a Nissan Murano. Smart move. He hit the car, then to the hood with his ass and then he smashed his head on the pavement. We told the motel workers claimed the jumper had turned on all the faucets in the room and also busted pipes to the ceiling. A total damage of 10,000. There goes his deposit. Of course, LA County Chief Fire County Fire and Chief Department were responded. Our sources say neither the car owner nor the hotel manager wanted to press charges, and the guy said he had no malicious intent. He claims the room was just flooded. How can a room get that flooded? So he so it wasn't even a fire sprint. So what alarm was going off then? That doesn't make any sense. Does that what it says in the beginning? Right? Person in the cover said the fire alarm. So who? So I'm guessing somebody in a hotel smashed the fire alarms to get access to the room. But the room was already flooded. But why was the room flooded? Was there a sprinkler damage? Or did he leave? Why was he running the taps as well? But it's an absolute bizarre story. Oh, uh, but it's a you know a sliver of sunshine, a sliver of humor in these dark times, man. But Jesus Christ, it makes no sense, isn't it? It doesn't make any sense. He's in a he's in an apartment building. He obviously lives there. And what? Why is he opening all the taps up? Maybe he's just geeking out, isn't it? He might have been high on meth or something. You know that that's kind of meth courage a little bit, no? Because I think when you're on coke or anything, you get a little bit paranoid. So you just hide behind the covers. But when you're in meth, it's supposed to be you tweak out and you start doing mad shit, right? You start scaling mountains and scaffolding and start, you know, trying to jump over drain pipes. So that might be part of it. He might have just felt like Superman. Um, or he just started washing his face and then he just let a tap on. I don't know. It's just a bizarre story, though. You can't explain crazy. I think I've got to stop doing that. I try and, and I try and understand crazy too often. Maybe because I know deep down I have the possibility of turning into one of those crazy people but you just can't explain crazy sometimes some people are just you know they're just tiktoked as uh, tom segura says on his podcast your mom's house uh, people so some people are just tiktok